So I've lost 50 pounds in nine months and a huge part of that is what I get at the grocery store. This is me before and this is me now. So today I'm going to take you guys to the grocery store with me so you can see what I put in my cart and some tips on do's and don'ts for what you need to do. Before we get in there, number one tip before you go grocery shopping is make sure that you eat. Okay, I had a bagel right before I shot this and it's a lifesaver because the worst thing you wanna do is go into the grocery store hungry, you're gonna buy everything. <laughs> so before we really get into this, one major tip to do in the grocery store, at the two furthest end of the grocery stores, so usually it doesn't matter what end, but on the furthest end there's the vegetables and then on the other furthest end there are the meats and stuff. That is where I shop, I shop on those two furthest end. Everything that's in the middle of the grocery store I avoid those areas because usually it's just processed foods, high in sugar and things like that. So a huge tip when you guys are going grocery shopping, stay on the outskirts of the grocery store. First thing I'm going to get is some avocados. These are really good to just put on top of like my salads, chicken, things like that. I'm not the best at picking avocados. I know that allegedly if you take off the top of this and it's green that's how you know that it's good but I usually just squish it just to tell if it's too soft I don't want it I'm also gonna get some limes because I put limes on top of everything I put it on chicken and shrimp and they're super cheap these are around 49 149 a pound which is literally nothing definitely gonna get some cherries it's one of my favorite fruits and as you can see, there's plenty of them. My favorite vegetables I'm gonna get here is kale. And I eat kale literally probably every single meal. It's high in nutrients. And you kind of just wanna stay at the produce section. There's tons of vegetables and things here and you wanna pair these with your protein. So get as much veggies and stuff as you possibly can. Some people don't eat a lot of vegetables, but it's really good for you and it's also gonna help fill you up. Another thing I'm always gonna get is some red potatoes, some sweet potatoes. They're delicious and they're kind of sweet, so sometimes it makes me feel like I'm getting like a little bit of a treat. All right, so before we move on to the meat section, I wanna show you guys everything I got in the produce section. I got some cucumbers, I got kale, I got some watermelon, some bananas, more kale, some sweet potatoes, I got some squash, Italian squash here, and what is this, some limes, and I got some avocado, and I got some cherries, and some cheese. <laughs> so this is everything I got from the produce section over here, and now we're gonna go to the meat section. Okay, so I know I mentioned earlier not to go in the middle aisles, and there is an exception to the rule. In the middle aisles, there's like rice, pasta, I don't really, I kinda stay away from pasta, honestly, but rice, Certain carbs are good, so sometimes in the middle aisles you can get that, but like I said, I would just avoid them mostly. I'm in here now. I did get some rice, which is really good for milk, but overall, I don't really come to this section too often, but I will point out the things I do get from the middle sections. I got some avocado oil, which is what I used to cook with, and I'll flip the camera around so you can see the other stuff. I got some eggs, some sparkling water, and that's pretty much it. That's all I got from the middle section of the store. As you can see, there's no high processed foods in here, no cookies, no cakes, none of that. And that stuff is usually always in the middle section. So if you're gonna go in the middle section, get, you know, like I said, some sides like rice, some oils to cook with, some water, but stay away from the high processed sugars and foods if you're trying to lose weight. A huge part of what you need to eat in order to not be hungry, and it's gonna help you lose weight, is protein. So try to eat as much protein as you can. Things like chicken, fish, um, whatever you prefer, but I usually stick to lamb, chicken, and fish. Those are kind of like my, my main ones. So for my produce, I got chicken wings here, and this one actually comes already seasoned with onions and stuff on top, which is really nice. I also got some shrimp, which goes with just a lot of different things. It's pretty low calorie as well. More chicken wings, my husband loves chicken wings. I got some salmon, a whole thing of salmon here. And I also got some ceviche. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's wrapped up. But it's mango and shrimp ceviche. And I wanna show you guys that I'm not a complete saint. I did get a caramel apple. It's like my weakness. <laughs> but that's essentially the only thing that I got that is semi-bad. As you guys can see here, I'm at the line now. These are all my groceries. 
and I will do a full recap once I get home for you guys so I can lay everything out. And back home, I need to put all these groceries away. But yeah, that was what I got at the grocery store and I spent around $200, which is not bad for all the things that I got. And if you are currently on a fitness journey, keep going. I will have a link to my ebook in the description below for just 10 healthy recipes. And leave a comment below if you guys have any questions about grocery shopping or any tips that you wanna share as well that's useful for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.